Best Performing Stocks of 2021 Top 5 2021 will go down as one of the craziest years ever in Wall Street history. The word meme stock was added to every hedge fund manager dictionary and pharmaceutical and energy companies went through the roof. So which stocks would have made you the best returns if you woke up on January 1st, 2021 and put all your money in the stock market? Here is the best performing stocks of 2021 Top 5. Starting off with number 5, we find Continental Resources Inc. CLR. Year-to-date return, 167.1%. Sector, energy. Market cap, $15.7 billion. Continental Resources is an oil and gas e and company. It is the largest leaseholder and among the largest oil producers in the back and oil field region of North Dakota and Montana. The company operates throughout the North, South, and East regions of the U.S. Continental Resources reported net income of $369.3 million on revenue of $1.3 billion in quarter 3, 2021 and its September 30, 2021. It was a significant improvement from the net loss of $79.4 million in the year-ago quarter as revenue expanded 93.7 YOY. Continental Resources was benefiting soaring oil prices that reached highs in 2021 not seen since 2014 as the global economy recovered from COVID-19 pandemic shock and supply shortages abound. Not all oil companies have benefited to the same extent. Some have lost out on the prices rises due to having hedging contracts to protect against another crash in prices. Continental Resources, however, was nearly unhedged, allowing it to take advantage of the rapid rise in oil prices. At number four, we find Devon Energy Company, DVN. Year-to-date return, 175.3%. Sector, energy. Market cap, $28.3 billion. Devon Energy is an oil and natural gas exploration and production ENP company. It owns a portfolio of assets located in the U.S. and is primarily engaged in the exploration, development, and production of oil, natural gas and natural gas liquids, NGLs. Devon Energy posted net income of $839 million on revenue of $3.5 billion in quarter three, FY 2021 ended September 30, 2021. Net earnings improved significantly from the net loss of $91 million in the same quarter last year, with revenue having risen 224.8% YOY. Shares of Devon Energy received a massive boost in 2021 from investor optimism over the entire energy sector amid surging oil prices which rebounded from 2020 pandemic-depressed lows. The rise in oil prices has boosted profits for all oil producers. Unlike in past cycles, many oil and gas companies are returning profits to shareholders rather than investing in future growth. Devon Energy has been rewarding its shareholders with variable dividends as the company pulls back on its capital expenditures, which is attracting some investors that have not traditionally invested in the energy sector. At number three, we find one of the most talked about companies over the last few years, Moderna Inc., MRNA. Year-to-date return, 193.6%. Sector, healthcare. Market cap, $12.4 billion. Moderna is a clinical stage biotechnology company focused on the discovery and development of messenger RNA, mRNA, therapeutics and vaccines. It develops mRNA medicines for infectious, immuno-oncology, rare diseases, cardiovascular diseases, and autoimmune diseases. Its development pipeline has 23 current programs, 15 of which have entered clinical studies. Moderna reported net income of $3.3 billion on revenue of $5 billion in quarter three FY 2021, which ended September 30, 2021. The net income was a significant improvement from the net loss of $233 million reported a year earlier. Revenue was up nearly 32 times YOY. Moderna's soaring sales and shares over the past year have been driven by the success of its vaccine against COVID-19. 
The vaccine received emergency use authorization by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in December 2020. It was the second COVID-19 vaccine to receive the approval after the vaccine developed jointly by Pfizer Inc. and BioNTSE received the EUA approval earlier that same month. The company generated its first profit early in 2021 as revenue soared on sales of the vaccine, its first product to receive FDA approval. At number two, we find Upstart Holdings, Inc., UPST. Year-to-date return, 321.1%. Sector, financial services. Market cap, $14.1 billion. Upstart Holdings is a lending platform that uses AI to assess the creditworthiness of potential borrowers. Upstart uses machine learning to look at more variables than normal credit risk assessments, which it says will allow banks to lend to more borrowers with less risk due to the increased accuracy of this method. Upstart posted net income of $29.1 million on revenue of $228.5 million in quarter 3 FY 2021 ended September 30, 2021. This was a 201% increase in net income and 249.5% increase in revenue year over year, YOY. Upstart shares have exploded since they first began trading on the NASDAQ following the company's initial public offering in December 2020. One of the primary factors driving the sharp rise is the company's strong fundamentals. It is profitable and growing fast. But another factor is that its business model is centered on AI, one of the top investment themes of late. At number one, we have a company which made a lot of young kids millionaires in 2021. I'm sure you have guessed it already, the number one performing stock of 2021 is GameStop Corporation, GME. Year-to-date return, 815%. Sector, consumer discretionary. Market cap, $13.2 billion. GameStop is a retailer of video games and other entertainment products. It operates both e-commerce and brick and mortar. Its products include video game hardware and accessories, software, and collectible items. GameStop reported a net loss of $61.6 million on net sales of $1.2 billion in quarter two of its 2021 fiscal year. The three-month period ended July 31, 2021. Sales were 25.6% higher than the same quarter last year, when its net loss was $111.3 million. So why did the stock perform so well? GameStop's stock skyrocketed early 2020 as Reddit users on the R Wall Street Bets subreddit forum encouraged retail traders to initiate a short squeeze on the stock. A short squeeze happens when a heavily shorted stock rises unexpectedly forcing short sellers looking to cut their losses and close out their positions by buying the stock, which pushes the stock higher. Stocks of other heavily shorted stocks such as AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc. and BlackBerry Limited also rose sharply amid the so-called meme stock phenomenon. While GameStop's stock retreated from the highs it reached early in 2021, it is still up considerably since the start of the year, making it the top stock of 2021. If you enjoyed this video, hit those like and follow buttons and get access to more business and finance top 5 videos.